provider page styles define the basic layout of all the pages in your document. So page styles control margins, they control headers and footers, they control page borders, page backgrounds, how many columns on the page, and other page-related formatting options. In many other word processes, this would be called page formatting. In Writer, it's called page styles. There are several predefined layouts available from the styles panel, which we'll look at, and you can create your own custom styles. If you do create a custom style, it's only effective for the current document. It does not affect other documents unless you take some particular steps to do that, and we won't look at that now. A document can contain one page style throughout the length, or it contain many page styles. Of course, if it's only one page, one page style, but in a multiple page document, many page styles can be used. As you probably already know, in most long documents, the text flows automatically from one page to the next, just as it flows automatically from one line to the next as you type your text. Sometimes, just like you sometimes want to change where the line ending comes by pressing the Enter key, you want to change where the page ending comes and the new page begins. You can do that very simply by pressing Control Enter, and that breaks the page where Enter breaks the paragraph. If you want to subsequently remove a manual page break put in by Control Enter, you can use Backspace to remove that. Let me show you. On the screen, I have an unformatted three and a half page document, which we can work with to learn about page styles. I have it in print preview so you can see the extent of the entire document. To work with it, we'll close the preview. Up at the top of the document, the first three lines, Laptop Computer in the K-12 Classroom, Eric Digest by Belanger Ivan, are clearly the title page. To put, the to put that on its own page, we'll just click right before the first letter of the next page, and I'm going to press Control Enter. Going back to Print Preview, you can now see that those three lines are on their own on the first page, which will become the title page with formatting, and the report itself begins at the top of page two. If we scroll down, supposing I wanted to put portable alternatives at the top of its own page, click in front of it and press Control Enter. I scroll on down and then, oh, I think better of that. I can remove that page break by clicking right at the top of the page and pressing the backspace key. The page break is essentially an invisible character that you can remove by backspacing over it just as you would remove an A, a B, or a C by backspacing over it. One more page break to add for the beginning of the bibliography. Control Enter. And back to print preview to see what we've done. And now we have the title page, one, two and a half pages of the body of the report, and the bibliography on its own page. So manual page breaks, extremely useful technique. Don't ever press the Enter key many times anymore to create a new page. Use Control Enter. It's much more flexible and powerful. applying page styles. We're going to work with the default page styles for now. So first I'm going to set my view of the document so that I can see an entire page. So I'm going to say fit width and height on view zoom. Now even though I'm in editing I have a page level view of the document which is what I need right now. Okay. So I'm going to open up the styles and formatting pane Bring that in so you can see it. And right now we're on the paragraph formatting. I'm going to move over to page styles. <clears throat> as you can see right now, all of our pages are formatted as default. I'm going to go ahead and format this page as first page. This is now a first page page. 
clicking here this is still default this is still default this is still default I'm verifying by clicking in the page and the bibliography page is still default so now I've applied a first page style to the first page of the document and that's all I'm going to need to work with just right now so that's as simple as that click in the page double click on the page style and you've applied the style.